Y'all, this case had me up in arms. So this lady had a baby with a Marine. And then they weren't together, whatever. He got um, stationed somewhere far away. She told him he could sign his rights away. So he did. He thought, I'm, I'm not going to be able to be in his life. Her husband wants to adopt the baby. So he did. Then she's going to turn around years later and sue him for child support because she never turned in the paperwork for the adoption or something like that. And now he's in it for the back child support too. Having two other minor children. Uh, the state is requesting that this be a temporary order, and I don't believe either party objects based on Mr. Neal having another child due in October of this year. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get some testimony, but the master math and the law is the law, Mr. Neal. And uh, so we, you, while you have the right to tell the court why you think this amount should be different, the state calculates retroactive child support based on earnings at said time, and I don't even use the BAH uh, 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 on retro, but I do look at base pay if you were in the military during that time frame. And going forward, uh, yeah, we always use BAH, we always use uh, uh, base pay, so it's really simple to figure out uh, what child support is supposed to be with uh, uh, military personnel. Well, I'll see why this should be something different. Anyway, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, ask Ms. Jackson to uh, unmute yourself and raise her right hand, and uh, we'll, get you on, we'll get you both on the record. Thank you. Good. Oh, sorry. All right. You both saw me swear or affirm me. Testimony going to give here this court today is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you. Yes. Mr. Neal, do you still swear, sir? Yes. Sorry. I didn't say it loud enough. Okay, no problem. You're both officially under oath, and I'm going to go ahead and let the state call you both as witnesses. If there's anything at the end of this hearing you think the court needs to know that uh, is uh, 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 pertinent to what we're doing here today, You'll be allowed to tell the court that information so long again, so long as it's relevant. Uh, and another fact that you both represent yourself. You're what we call pro se litigants, which means you're technically your own lawyers. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get that data, and uh, the court will uh, uh, will add it into the information and weigh it appropriately. So at this time, I'll go ahead and let the state call you both as individual witnesses. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. The state calls Brianna Jackson. Ma'am, what is your full name? Brianna Lynn Jackson. And previously, ma'am, what was your legal name? Brianna Lynn Weaver. And so, ma'am, going forward, all of these documents you're wanting this court to ask uh, or to have as ordered as your current legal name, Jackson? Yes, ma'am. Who is the child in this case? Jeremiah Neal. How are you related, related to Jeremiah? I'm his mother. When was Jeremiah born? June 7th of 2019. And ma'am, who is Jeremiah's father? Kyle Neal. Were you given the opportunity to take a DNA test and then see the results, ma'am? Yes. And based on those, ma'am, um, you have uh, no problem with us going forward to set support from Mr. Neal? No. Were you able to hear my opening statement, Ms. Jackson? Yes. Was it accurate as far as your positions on the current child support amount as well as, well as the retroactive support judgment? Yes, ma'am. Um, going back to your son's birth, uh, what, if any, direct payments have you received from Mr. Neal? Uh, the cash out payments starting in February of 2021. And included with the um, packet from your state, ma'am, you had... It, uh, included a declaration that Mr. Neal paid you $6,170 through January of 2023? Yes, ma'am. And since that time, going through April of 2024, you received an additional $4,500? Yes. And so the retroactive support judgment you understood me to have calculated was based on um, July 1, so the month starting after your son was born until January of 2021, for which time you had no direct payments? Yes, ma'am. And during that time frame, you and Mr. Neal did not live together either, correct? No, ma'am. Uh, right now, ma'am, how does your son have health coverage? He doesn't have any at the moment. And you have no problem, ma'am, providing Mr. Neal the uh, information or documents necessary so he can enroll your son on TRICARE Medical and then Dental? No, ma'am. 
And ma'am, are you aware of Mr. Neal having other children besides Jeremiah? Yes. And as far as you know, ma'am, Mr. Neal's only source of income is what he's paid by the military in base pay and the BAH he also receives? Yes. Uh, and so, ma'am, as far as the current support amount, <coughs> you are wanting the full $744, which is the 16% of Mr. Neal's net resources? Yes, ma'am. Um, was there anything else, ma'am, you were wanting the court to consider? No, ma'am, that was it. And ma'am, um, as far as the judgment, we already talked about on the retroactive, but did you have a preference as to the repayment amount Mr. Neal made every month beginning June 1st of 2024? What do you mean? So the state's request was going to be $88 per month, which would be $50 plus interest. Were you in agreement with that or were you wanting something different? No, no, that works for me. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. Your Honor, I pass this witness. All right, ma'am, we'll be back in just a moment. I'll go ahead and let the state call your next witness. Thank you. The state calls Kyle Neal. Sir, what is your full name? Kyle Allen Neal. And sir, were you able to hear my opening statement? Yes, ma'am, I was. Was I accurate as far as the agreements you and Ms. Jackson do have concerning you being the father of Jeremiah and you putting him on medical and dental? Absolutely, ma'am. And then, sir, as far as the disagreements, um, is it correct that you're wanting this, this court to consider ordering something different from the guideline calculated support of 744? Yes, ma'am. And that the retroactive support amount I'd calculated since Jeremiah's birth to the end of January 2021, um, I believe you had reasons the court should not order that amount? Yes, ma'am. What are those reasons? So at the time, I was in a different state. I didn't think I would be able to see Jeremiah. So I had signed my rights away, or at least I thought I did. I had mailed the paper, come to find out 2021. Uh, I guess she was going through divorce. I'm not sure. She messaged, She sent me the message asking if I wanted to be in his life. And I had told her I thought I sent my rights away. She had said, no, I only told you that out of spite. But ever since then, I have paid and tried to be there as much as I can. And then, sir, um, your other children besides Jeremiah, what are their ages? Uh, so my two stepkids, they are nine and seven. My oldest son, Vance, he is seven. And the baby is one, going to be two in uh, October. And then, of course, the one on the way. And, sir, is Vance a child for whom you pay support? Yes, ma'am. And then the two-year-old, is that child in your household? Yes, ma'am. And the one that you're expecting in October, is that his the two-year-old's full uh, sibling? Yes, ma'am. What is the exact due date, if you know it, for the uh, uh, October child? I'm not exactly. My wife's upstairs, but I'm pretty sure it's October 7th. I could be a little off. I'm not sure, but that's what I remember. All right, sir. And so as far as the current support in this case, um, you had provided the base pay and the BAH amounts from your LES. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And you had an opportunity to ask questions about the percentage used by the state to calculate that 744, correct? Yes, ma'am. Um, and initially, sir, without the credit you were getting for the dental, uh, you would have been paying seven forty five. What do you mean? Well, sir, initially there was no credit to you of the ten dollars and seventy one cents for dental. For the medical, uh, you were you don't have a cost because you're active duty, correct? Yes, ma'am. And so, sir, what amount were you wanting the court to consider ordering rather than the seven forty four? That's guideline at this point. Honestly, for fifty to five hundred, because only for the fact that I do my do have stepkids too, and as I know they're not involved in this case, I do take care of them. More does their sperm donors really not that active, so for me it's a lot harder to take care of them as well for the fact that he's not helping at all. So that little bit it goes a long way. 
Anything else, sir, you wanted the court to consider? No, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Neal. Your Honor, I pass this witness. All right, sir. Uh, is your uh, current spouse employed, sir? No, sir. No, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, is she, uh, uh, does she normally work or is she just off for now? What's the circumstances, sir? So she had worked before, but she had worked at a uh, telemarketer job, worked stay at home. But she had to get, let go of the job because our child, he was still newborn at the time. And uh, he cried a lot. So we, he wasn't able to work from home because, of course, being on the call, he can have a screaming child in the background. Hopefully, within the, once this child's born, within the uh, next year, hopefully she'll be able to work again. But until then, I'm the only income, sir. All right. And how many people in your household, sir? Uh, me, my wife, and my three kids that live here. And sir, you said you signed that uh, some form of uh, uh, paperwork, and down in Texas, it's called a uh, uh, well. Uh, it would be a uh, uh, well, it could be several different things, but technically, it's an affidavit uh, allowing termination of parental rights. Uh, yes. What what uh, what was the circumstances? What were you, what do you understand the circumstances were uh, when you signed off on that? And what did the mother originally tell you, sir, about those circumstances? I was under an assumption that I would send my rights away. I had emailed her the paperback. And okay, that, okay, 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 start real quick. Did, uh, did she ask you to sign your rights away, sir? Uh, no, I did because I didn't think I would be able to see him being so okay. far away. All right, all right, sir. And, then that's and, then I, I'm and, sorry. and who generated the paperwork that you signed off on, sir? I'm sorry, one more time? The paperwork that you said you sent there, who, who, who generated that? Uh, I had got it. She had sent me the link to it. I downloaded it, printed it, and I went and got it uh, notarized and then mailed back to her. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, any other questions with this witness, uh, Ms. Bungak? No, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Jackson, I'm going to go straight to you about the uh, uh, circumstances dealing with that uh, termination, whatever it was done. Uh, did you at any time ask the father to uh, uh, terminate his parental rights to allow someone else to adopt or take over that right, those rights, ma'am? I did when I was mad one time. All right. Because and wasn't and doing anything. Okay, well, let's real quick then. Uh, and did he send, uh, was, was there ever any legal paperwork filed, uh, your divorce calls of action, anything along those lines that uh, was going to allow uh, 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 for a, a legal adoption, ma'am? No. Okay, so there's, ne there's never been a legal adoption pending. No, no, Your Honor. Okay. And so, what? Uh, I don't know. See, the judge is a little perplexed because technically, there's there's no paperwork that can be signed off or done prior to there actually being paperwork on file for that purpose. Uh, so, uh, what what was the document that you and he allegedly signed off on, ma'am, or that you I understand y'all signed off on? The only thing I can recall him signing and sending to me was an acknowledgement of paternity. And Mary, and you don't have a copy of that paperwork anymore? No, Your Honor, I do not. All right, uh, Mr. Neal, do you have a copy of that paperwork? I do not. The only copy I had, I had mailed out. Okay. All right, then. Um, anything else at this time, Ms. Bungai, from either witness? Nothing, Your Honor. Okay. All right, folks, I know. Okay, it's all right. I know y'all can't see it well, but uh, this is a copy of State's Exhibit Number One. This is the DNA paternity analysis in your case, uh, Mr. Neal. Is there any legal reason this should not come into uh, play at this time? Or should, I'm sorry, should not come into evidence at this time? No, Your Honor. Ms. Jackson. No, Your Honor. All right. Stage One is admitted. Stage One shows that Mr. Kyle Neal cannot be excluded as the biological father of the child, Jeremiah. Probability of paternity is 39, I'm sorry, 99999996, which is well within the guidelines set forth by the Texas Family Code for establishing paternity of 99.99.
and I got a combined maternity index of 3.2 billion to one. So based on that, that means, let's see, da, 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 da. Mr. Neal, you will win that lottery on Saturday, on Friday night uh, 14 times before this baby's not yours, okay? So same <laughs> odds. Good. Good luck with that. So, I, I knew it was mine. I wasn't worried about that. It was just everything else, Your Honor. <laughs> all right, not a problem, sir. All right, here's what I'm going to do, folks. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and make this a temporary order. Y'all got some special circumstances here. And, sir, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a temporary order that I'm going to deviate slightly from, from the guideline child support. I need for you to try to get your ducks in a row before we come back for a final hearing. Because, again, yes, sir, at that time, I'm probably going to be looking at guidelines because, again, I, I don't – I understand this will, will probably cause some financial hardship, but you and your current spouse need to sit down and figure out how y'all going to do this going forward uh, uh, as far as some type of possible part-time she can do that baby stand don't interfere with. And believe me, sir, uh, they interfere – uh, until they're uh, away in college and they're still going to be <laughs> So there you go. But I, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and look at uh, 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 Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Bonga. What's the guideline amount right now, please? I, I've got it. Uh, 744, Your Honor. 744. All right. I'm going to take that down uh, to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it down to. Uh, 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 590. I'm going to go ahead and give him about 150 something. He get, uh, yeah, it, hopefully that goes a little bit to help you with this circumstances right now, sir. But right now, I'm going to make temporary child support at 590 based on possible heart, uh, on, on hardship. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm going to hold in abeyance. Uh, 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 yeah. All right. I, and I'm going to go ahead and, sir, I got to, uh, without a court action pending and adoption pending if, if it was under texas law uh you would uh, uh uh there's nothing you could sign that would be that, that would be valid uh, as far as any type of termination of parental rights and since there was never a case pending there was never an attorney assigned to represent the child's best interest in that then i'm going to go ahead and look at having to uh uh, uh grant the uh, retroactive for for right now uh, I don't want to hit you with too much extra. I'm going to go ahead and re I got to reduce that to judgment. But uh, Mr. Bongat, I'm thinking the interest on that sounds like $35 a month. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, around $37. $37. All right. I'm going to go ahead and order repayment of that only at interest only at this time. I don't want to go in up while we're doing this. So I, I am going to go ahead and order the repayment at $37 a month. But when we come back in October, I'm going to be looking at ordering some principal to that to start knocking it down. So right now, you'll still owe the entire amount when we come back in October. But I'm going to give you and your current spouse the opportunity to do some strategic planning and see what uh, y'all can come up with as far as getting uh, some extra income coming into your household before we come back. But when we come back, sir, I will be looking at having to go to guidelines, child support, and probably at least uh, uh, 50, somewhere between 50 and $75 because you're not going to a month extra toward that arrears it's not going to eat away at the uh uh um uh, uh the principal very much but we got a very young child here anyway so you know we can either way at it until you uh make some more rank and uh, uh get it take care of what, what's your current rank now sir i'm a sergeant your honor okay e5 e5 okay yes sir all right then well hopefully uh in the next few years uh, you'll get that up to e78 and someday even e9 okay it's a lot oh, for sure <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Sergeant Major. All right, no problem. All right, anyway, yeah. I'll go ahead and do this as a temp order. We're coming back in October, and like I said, I'll have the state remind me that I did deviate, but I will be looking at, uh, uh, I may still look at doing some deviation going uh, after that date, but uh, uh, or I may look at keeping it the same, or I may keep, uh, or I may erase it just a little bit. It's, uh, it's going to be up to me how I look at the circumstances at that time. But I want to go ahead and get an update on what you and your current spouse are looking at as far as that and making sure the baby's okay and there's no special needs uh, for the child after that either. So at this time, like again, I'm going to go ahead and set up the child support. I'm going to maintain uh, health insurance, sir. Uh, uh, through TRICARE, get uh, mom uh, Snow DR to cooperate fully and making sure you get uh, all the necessary uh, signatures on the paperwork uh, for the purposes of getting the child on your TRICARE. And uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset this. And what day, uh, do we have any October dates? I'm not sure if I said anything about October yet. Because my because that's so far out. You had your honor for uh, Halloween. I wasn't sure if that would work for both parents since they do have young children. Or if you wanted to set a November date, then it would get be past that. 
All right, Dan, what, do I have a November date set up yet? I'm sorry, I don't have my Zoom. None in November, Your Honor. Uh, we went straight from a Halloween to a December date. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and pick one. And when I get through with this hearing, I'll go ahead and make that date. So let's see what the calendar looks like. Well, October is usually uh, a traditional vacation month anyway. <laughs> so make sure everybody gets back to school and uh, things to settle down a little bit. <laughs> All right, and uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, use October 29th. That's a, that's the Tuesday that we won't mess with Halloween so in, in case somebody, uh, uh, just in case if uh, one of them's really into Halloween, and uh, a lot of people are, so they can at least take the kids out and do the, the trick or treat thing. And I'll go ahead and reset this for, uh, and you'll get the Zoom code on this, folks, for uh, October 29th, and we'll get everything updated at that point. So I'm gonna start with you at this time, Ms. Jackson. Questions, ma'am? No questions, Your Honor. All right, uh, Mr. Neal, questions, sir? No, Your Honor. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get this one done and I'll see everybody in October and we'll look and see what the final order is gonna be. And uh, may the parties be excused at this time, Ms. Bungat? Yes, Your Honor. All right, y'all, I'm both excused and I'm gonna go ahead and finish writing this about Ms. Bungat and I'll be ready for the next one after that. Thank you, we're off the record. Thank you. Now, I always feel like the non-custodial parent should be paying their fair share of child support. And in this case, I mean, yeah, I... Shh, Haven. She should not have been playing games with that man's paternal rights of that baby. So she got married to somebody else and wanted her husband to adopt the baby. And so she told him, yeah, you could sign your rights away. And then he filled out paperwork and thought he had no rights to that child. So he never formed a bond with the baby. He planned his life with his new wife and her kids and their new kids around the fact that, well, my that baby was adopted. And now look at him. He's still willing. He's not fighting her about it or nothing. Seems like a decent guy. What did you guys think of this case? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.